welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is joy i create lifestyle content focused on becoming a better version of yourself while having fun along the way welcome to another weekly vlog happy monday it is currently what time is it what time is it? it's 607 your girl just had a full day to the point i actually forgot it was monday because yesterday was one of my advisor's birthday and I wanted to get her flowers. Completely forgot, but somebody got her flowers and I actually did like a little arrangement for her. Cause if you have been following me on TikTok, you know I've been in my, let's call it floral arrangement era. Like I made a promise to myself to buy myself flowers every single week. And it's not every week, every other week, but basically every week. It's one of the ways that I want to pour into myself. And I definitely encourage you to do the same. But ever since I started, I've just been falling in love with the process of picking the flowers, creating the floral arrangements, and it's just been so pretty. And I love how hers came out. Oh my god. It was like pink roses, like a pink or reddish roses with baby's breath and like one lily it was just so pretty so i usually pick like three or four different types of flowers when i do my arranges so when i was starting this one i was like oh are we gonna be able to do it but i did it and it looks so beautiful i want a vase or vase is it vase or vase or is it both let me know but i want to get a vase just like that where it's just like cylinder the ways hers were but yeah so right now i am about to take off this makeup and do my nighttime skincare routine only because girl it started raining on my way home after picking up antoinette i just i couldn't believe should i start with my eyes actually let me do my eyes i don't know if you know the trick but i usually take vaseline and i just scoop a little bit either with a cotton swab or a tissue paper i put some on here and i get rub it around my eyes to take off the eyeliner it's just easier because most makeup removers aren't able to take out aren't able to take off the eyeliner so you see gone so that's normally how i do it it just makes it easier for me to take it off versus feeling like i have to wash my face 20 times but yeah it started raining and if you know when you get caught in the rain whether or not you're wearing makeup and it's humid because today it was hot 77 degrees but it felt like 80 to be honest because it was humid but whenever it's hot and it does a random rainfall literally you feel icky afterwards because it just gets hot after the rain stops so your girl was so little my hair got choked as well you like the hair I cut it. I got a little bob going on. You're gonna see it's gonna get shorter and shorter and shorter until we back to the pixie cut. And then for the summertime, I'm gonna be in braids. I'm gonna be in braids all summer because your girl has to kick her fitness routine in high gear. I've been lazy and the Lord has been coming for me about it. So we're gonna be doing that, focusing on that. But how are you, by the way? How was your weekend? What did you do? Any new uh, goals accomplished? I know it's April, so we in the second quarter. How are those goals coming along? April is going by fast. I don't know about you, but April is going by fast. April is going by fast for me, and I'm just like, baby, hold on. Hold on. I have finals right after my spring break. My spring break is next week, which I have a little fun fun things I'm gonna be doing so be on the lookout for that I might tell you actually I'm gonna just tell you so for my spring break I plan to drop a video every day it's my way it's my way of making it up to you because it's been hard pushing out content this this semester it's been really hard but I've been managing and I'm grateful that you all has just been rocking it out with me showing up and showing out and for everybody who's been following since zero thank you and for everybody who's new thank you i really truly appreciate it uh youtube is like honestly one of my uh dreams so to be able to do this whether or not i get paid is just like really like cool blessing and to share my story in hopes that it inspires others is a blessing in itself so i'm just like 
I'm really super grateful. This is normally what I use to take off my makeup, but I just didn't feel like doing that today. Like, I really just didn't feel like doing it because I'm also hungry. So, I just used the, what is it called? Garnier Micellar Water. And now I'm going to use the Kale Green Spinach. The Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser from You To The People. I usually use that whenever I am going to do, like, I guess a double cleanse. In a way, even though this is not a double cleanse. Because I use the Micellar Water to take the makeup off not me forgetting to take my earrings off and my necklace i'm gonna do that right now the necklace could stay for a second because that's not too close i'm only using toner because my face feels dry honest i like that my nighttime skincare routine is not long especially on days where i'm like super hungry when i get in and all i want to do is eat but i still want to take care of my face you know that means all i'm gonna be doing right after is eating now that my face is just not feeling yucky you know because that rain was really out of nowhere so i'm about to go eat i will see you tomorrow All of that just, I didn't look up till later. Okay. First, let's count the missing values and penguins. And then I will use a different data set to show what it looks like there, okay? Um. Okay, do the for notes. This is this is game for your for your final exam, okay? So just okay, do it for notes. for the day hey girl hey happy tuesday i wanted to show you my outfit real quick because it's super cute let's see let's see let's see my pants are from amazon shirt is from amazon as well excluding the pearl necklace as well as the pearl earrings my jacket is from zara you already know you already know and my kicks is new balance new balance all day every day this is a cute outfit i did some pictures so if you want to see them go ahead and go to instagram because they're going to be posted there um but yeah that's my outfit i'm going to pick up antoinette now and then head back to the house Hola, como estas? How are you doing today? Happy Wednesday. I literally just finished two tests back to back to back. Oh my God, never do I want to take a test back to back. I had my psych brain mind experience test and then I had um, my history test. So, well, 
the psych test was like more of an exam and then the history test was a history test it was like 20 questions but man my brain hurts so much but i'm happy it's over i'm actually gonna head back to the house to get some errands done for the day so yeah and i need to get something to eat i'm super hungry and today's ootd we got trousers we got bodysuit from pumi trench coat is from h&m and my trousers are from h&m too we got the new balance 550s is it 550s or 530s this is 550s I think it's the 550s and then we got my earrings from amazon and my necklace from amazon and my bags from amazon and my laptop case from amazon <laughs> this outfit is 90 90% amazon and 8% h&m and 2% new balance <laughs> that was a lot of math i had to do it is a bit chilly so i think after because i have a meeting before i go uh run some errands real quick after my meeting i think i'm going to um go ahead and change my coat because right now i'm rocking the trench coat um and it's really chilly so i think i want to switch to my coat that i got from zara that's like fully wool so yeah we're gonna do that but i'm gonna catch up with you in a beat Good morning, girlies. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, happy May. It's May. <laughs> um, so a few things has happened. Um, so basically I got an email this morning stating that I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna be I don't even know where to start. So basically I've been on spring recess because our spring recess was late. Um during the time I was posting if you if you've been on my channel you know i was posting like every single day for like a week um that was basically my spring recess that i wanted to catch up with my content my plan was to take this vlog and attach it to the remainder of this week back after spring recess because uh i came back technically like today so i had planned to record the rest of this week and then um attach it to the week before spring recess because I only recorded a few days so like just to make it like a chunkier study vlog and that plan is completely obliterated because this morning we got an email basically saying that the school will be closed um I first got the email for so my school is a neighborhood school um New York schools are kind of like that where they're in the center of neighborhoods not like other states where the campus is like literally the campus there's not really other things around that unless it's a campus part of the campus if that makes sense my school is literally a neighborhood school it's kind of like when you went to high school junior high it's like that so I get an update that basically the whole campus is closed I get an email campus is gonna be closed it's gonna everything's gonna be remote for the week now I don't know if it's gonna be for the rest of the semester because I basically was going to go on a break this is gonna be my last vlog before I go on a two weeks break to basically focus on finals because I have two weeks of school left then finals now with this email I don't know what's happening because most of my finals were in person and I needed these next two weeks to study but if everything's remote and I have my daughter it's gonna be very hard for me to study so I'm like yo what is going on so basically because of the situations with the protests you know the situation with Palestine that everything that's been happening it's been getting worse and worse and worse according to you know uh school stuff you see online da, 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 da. now i'm not in politics i'm not coming on here to talk politics because if i don't know what's going on i can't voice it but i do have a general opinion about protests on campus like for me personally i don't feel like protests should be on campuses only because you don't know what another student is going through you don't know if school is saving them like helping them like if they're putting themselves through school if they're literally shelling out going to two jobs literally paying for school you don't know if they have a bad environment at home so for me because i'm in my own situation which like i will touch on a little bit more i'm waiting to be a little bit more comfortable before i share but school is very near and dear like in, like i need to there's a reason why i pick in person i could have easily did online 
but I picked in person for a reason. So to now be taken aback and now I have to be in one space and then be with my daughter and then try to study, try to do school, that is not conducive to my own education and learning and mental health, to be honest. So this kind of is like such an unexpected like shake. I'm like having a hard time because I'm like, well, now we're going to go remote and all my classes are early. So it's it's like, okay, some people would look at, well, at least you get to the, no, you, you, everybody's different. I picked in person for a reason. So this kind of is like a catch 22 because it's like, there's other stuff that's happening that me not being in school is helping out. But then it's also like, oh my gosh, like, how am I going to function? Because I still have to study for finals. I still have to make sure I'm doing all my assignments and getting it in. But then at the same time, I can't be stuck in one place. And yeah, people going to be like, oh, you can always go to the library. Going to a library with a two-year-old is not no, let's go to the library. Everything's going to be, I have to pack a bunch of stuff to at least be in the library for like two, three hours. So it's not as easy as one may think, you know? So this whole disruption it's kind of like got me like feeling so many different types of way um but my that's my personal opinion this is a safe space i'm gonna tell you right now if you come in the comments about anything that i, I ain't say it i'm blocking you i'm just saying it right now because people like to twist people words around i'm specifically talking about protests in general don't matter what the protest is should not be on campus because you could be ruining somebody else's chances you don't know what's going on so to literally get it to the point where the whole campus is shut down that's wild to me, bro. That's why I already saw what happened at Columbia University, which which was bad. So honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to look on the bright side and also see how things are moving because it's such a lucid situation. Like right now, the update was we're going remote for the rest of the week, but then what about next week, you know? And then finals, what are we doing for finals, you know? So I really can't say it and then also I'm getting different messages from different prof professors saying different things. Like one of my professors said, we're going remote indefinite. Indefinite means for the rest of the semester. And I mean, I'm grateful that it's only technically two weeks of classes left and then finals. But it's just still like a finals. Like I'm a nervous test taker. So having a two-year-old while I'm taking a test is just like, ah. So pray for me, y'all. Like... I, I'm just gonna do the best that I can. I'm going to look at this situation in a positive because at the end of the day, that's all I can do. Um, I'm gonna trust that God is working this out for my good. It's it's just crazy. Yeah, so right now I am literally <laughs> going to like just get semi-dressed because I have my applied statistics class. As far as the vlog goes, um, I'm ending the vlog here because I can't really vlog nothing else because I'm going to be in class. Right now, the focus is to pass my finals to make sure all my assignments are put in and I'm on good rapport. I'm also applying for like scholarships and stuff. So those are the things that come first. Um, and then figuring out stuff with, with Antoinette, daycare, all that other stuff. So I'm going to be a little bit over there. So... Um, I just want to say thank you so much. We hit 600. We hit 600. We hit 600 subscribers. Ah, I shouldn't even say subscribe. We hit 600 fans, friends, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for leaving a comment. Thank you so much for sharing your story as I share mine. I hope every single video, if you watch it, whether you watch it or not, it inspires you to really go for the things you want in your life and not wait, not wait for other people, not wait for things to be perfect. Just literally try your best and just you know improve every single day even if it's one thing you're improving in as far as vlogs go i guess we're back to weekly vlogs i'm so sorry the college vlogs the study vlogs got cut short this was very unexpected but we're back to weekly vlogs we're going to be doing life in new york we're going to do a few other things i won't say it, won't say it but it's it's going to be a fun summer let's just say that it's going to be a very fun summer of making content exploring developing and doing different things so i'm excited um and i just want to encourage you to embrace the unknown be okay when things happen and you didn't expect even if it's not something good because there's always a lesson in there there's always something you can learn there's always something that's going to build your character because ultimately life is truly building your character. life is truly about learning 
life, every everything you go through in life is about learning. It's about the lessons you take that help to shape and build your character. And I just pray and hope that you're constantly looking to learn and you're constantly looking to improve and become better and to be a kind, caring, compassionate human being to others. I think it's a shame when people aren't kind because kindness is free. So do your best to be kind to the world because you don't know what people are going through. You know, like I'm a big advocate on looking, not looking like your circumstances. I am a big advocate and you will see soon why. Um, but don't look like what you're going through. Like embrace what you can and do your best to show up for yourself because at the end of the day you showing up for your net self now is what's going to take you when you reach that destiny that platform that place that you're supposed to be it's what's going to shape you for that so yeah thank you for coming to my ted talk wish me luck on my finals i love you all thank you so much um i don't even i just i just oh my god life be life and though life be life and to all my fellow schoolers, if you are doing your finals, congratulations. I'm happy you made it another semester. Good luck to you. And relax, okay? At the end of the day, you did all you can. Do not stress. If you don't pass, you can try again. If you do pass, try, try to get a bigger score. But don't give up on yourself, okay? Don't give up. Don't stress out. It's just a test. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. So that wraps up this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. You already know if you like this video, be sure. Why I keep doing this? I don't know what's happening. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new. Hello. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope this video inspired you in some way. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.